Hello and welcome back. This is the Network Berg. In this lecture, we'll be looking at configuring an L2TP server as well as an L2TV client. So let's get into the video. All right, so we're going to be doing something pretty interesting with the L2TP setup. We will be configuring the server on router one, and then we'll be configuring clients on router two and router three. But we're going to be using the clients to get between LAN subnets that we're going to configure on the client. So this is actually going to be a pretty fun uh, exercise and you can do this with most of the other tunnels as well um, but L2TP is very useful for this so let's just quickly get on to router 1 and let's just configure the L2TP so go into the triple P uh, go into interface and then from interface click on the L2TP server button select enable to enable the service and then there's a lot of different cool settings that we can tweak. But what I like about L2TP is it can use IPsec as well. So it can add more security by using an IPsec tunnel that will basically be <laughs> encrypted around your L2TP tunnel. So that's pretty nice. But we're not going to use IPsec in this instance. We're just going to apply this. So the server is running. Now we need to create some profiles. But I mentioned in a previous video something for, about LTTP where you can set um, local and remote addresses and it's pretty good for sites. So instead of using a pool, this time we will create multiple profiles for each site and we will specify the addressing here. So no, no longer we'll be using a pool. So let's just call this profile site one, uh, local address, we can make 10.1.2. Let's make it one. And then 10.1.2.2 is the remote address. And I'll just apply it like this. Let's create another profile. Call this site two, local address 10.1.2.3 with the remote address being 10.1.2.4. Again, the local address is my router, the server's IP that it will get. And the remote address will be the IP address that the client will receive as soon as it establishes its connection. So let's apply that. Let's create our secrets, what the clients can use to authenticate with. So I'll just call this site one with the password site one. I'll set the service as L2TP and I'll set my profile as site one. Then I'll do the same for the second site. So we can make it site two, password site two, service L2TP, profile site two. I'll apply this and now we can start doing some fun stuff. So let's quickly add the um, clients. So for this, I'll just have to jump on to router two quickly. So I'll just connect on Ramon for router two and router three, I'll configure through the uh, command line as well. So let's connect on router two, it should be in the my neighbors. There we go, let's zoom in here. And then I can go to PPP or triple P or interfaces. And then I can just hit the plus and then I can add an L2TP client. So I'll add a client for myself. I'll call this to office. I'll go to the dial out. Now I need to specify the layer three IP I'll be connecting to. So in my example, it's 192.0.0.1. Just remember, again, this can be on the internet. It doesn't need to be a directly connected device. This can be an IP as long as it's accessible. As long as you can ping it and it's running the service, then it's fine. Uh, our username was site one, our password was site one. And I'm just going to apply it as is. I, I'll add a default route out as well using that. So let's apply. And my L2TP has connected. I can see there is a little R there. If I go to the status, I can see what IP I have received and what the remote server's IP is. I can then also see, can I ping out? So let's quickly see, can I ping the IP address of my server. So let's just do an IPR print or let's do a IP address print. Let's see, can I ping 10.1.2.1? Yes, I can. And the routing is obviously also pushing a default route over there. So this is perfect. Um, what I'd like to do is maybe just add a bridge quickly. Wait, we don't even need to add a bridge. We can just add an address. Let's make it a LAN address. Let's make it 172.16.0.1 slash 24. Bind that to Ether2 and apply that. So that is our LAN network on site one. And then let's go on to site two. And I'll do this through uh, the command line quickly. So admin blank no. So let's just do a interface. 
LTTP client add name to office dial. Okay, let's just uh, question mark this. Uh, user is site two, password equals site two. And we definitely need to specify, not add default route, that's not that important, but let's specify that. I'm looking for uh, what we're connecting to. So connect to, there we go. Connect to equals 192.0.0.1. I'll hit OK. And I'll just do an interface print. And there we can see this interface is set as disabled. So this is sometimes, um, I don't want to say an issue when you do it through the command line, but you just need to specify that it's not disabled. So let's just do an interface, LTTP client, enable that one. Let's just do a print again. That, now we just want to see is anything being picked up. I don't see any connection yet. I just want to have a look at my IP addresses. I haven't configured any IP yet. So let's add an IP address, add uh, address equals 192.0.0.3. And this is just because uh, if we look at my topology, this Ether1 interface, which is technically its internet, I haven't configured that bit yet. So I can't reach my server, so that's why the tunnel's not coming up. But now that I've configured it, if I navigate back to the command line, I should actually see that the service comes up. So I can see the service is up now. And if I do an interface, um, let's do interface LTTP client print detail. Then we can get some of the details here. And if I do an IP address print, I can see the IP address that I've received from my server and IP route print. All right, this is all up. So let's just add another IP address here as well. IP address add address equals 172.16.1.1 slash 24 because site one was 0 dot one slash 24. So let's add that to my ether two. And we are now routing traffic out to our server. But from our server, we can do something pretty cool now as well. So I'm going to head into the server. And then I'm just going to set up routing for the LAN routes quickly. So I'll go to my routes. And then I'll just add a route back to 172.16.0.0 slash 24. That gateway, and that's why it's useful to have your addressing um, in that manner. So I can do 10.1.2.2 as the gateway. So that will be site one's LTTP client. And let's just copy this route, edit this as dot one. And then my other gateway is dot four, which is site two's LTTP interface. So the interfaces are picked up. And then now to test to see if this is working, we can go to the router, the site one router, which is router two. And then let's quickly see if I open up the terminal and I do a ping to 172.16.0 or 1.1, which is site two's IP, LAN IP, I'm getting a response. And I can also just source that from 172.16.0.1, which is my LAN IP. So now I've actually enabled office to office communication using LTTP. All right, so this is where we're going to end off the lecture. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.